And we are live. We are live. Concrete Constructors, welcome to another episode of your Concrete Success Podcast, where we discuss how you can optimize your online presence, how to build a profitable flat work and decorative concrete business so that you can live the life of your dream. So here's the bottom line. Today's conversation is about on-page SEO, on-page or on-site search engine optimization strategies for decorative concrete contractors. So if you do any type of concrete work, flat work or decorative concrete, this applies to you and your business. If you do concrete flooring, this also applies to you. If you do concrete coatings, this applies to you. If you do epoxy flooring, this applies to you and your business. And the question that that happens all the time is how come my website is not coming up on top of Google search? How come my website and my competitor's website is showing up for all these relevant search terms and my website is not? So we're talking about one of the fundamental elements of a search engine optimization strategy, which is on page or on site. And this training or what I'm gonna share today here is part of our full webinar, which is the new SEO 2021 formula for decorative concrete contractors. And if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and look for uh, concretemarketingcrew.com forward slash SEO. And you're going to see a link on that page that says webinar. So just click on that link. Otherwise, you could just go to concretemarketingcrew.com and look for the webinar section and you should be able to watch the latest webinar from there. So, um, that being said, let's go ahead and and, uh, and uh, just go through introduction. So what is SEO and why are we talking about search engine optimization for concrete contractors? Why should contractors care so much about search engine optimization? I'm going to tell you why. COVID-19 happened and consumers are now more than ever, more than ever reliant on search engines to find what they need. And concrete contractors for as much as you take pride of all the hard work that you do, which you absolutely do, for as much as you take pride on, hey, I'm going to build word of mouth and that's exactly how I'm going to build my business, for as much as you want to do that and build a thriving and successful business, that is dying out. That generation of individuals that managed to build their business on, on complete word of mouth has now realized that it's important to get found online. And wouldn't you like to get found for the new generation that's buying homes? that's buying properties, that's generating more revenue, more income, right? So uh, that is the conversation. How do we get your concrete business to show up for the most relevant searches? And the SEO, search engine optimization, is part of our concrete marketing plan, which is what you're looking at here on the screen. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And if you're listening to this podcast, by the way, uh, go ahead and you can check out our YouTube channel, Concrete Marketing Crew, where you can watch this exact same presentation shared uh, via, uh, via a video format. And for those of you guys that are like to listen, thank you for listening in and tuning in to our uh, Your Concrete Success podcast over in Spotify, Apple, uh, Stitcher. We have a whole bunch of other, uh, pretty much any podcast channel that's out there where you can listen, just Google or search for Your Concrete Success podcast and you're going to see them all come up. In fact, in fact, this is the fun part. We did not exist with the Concrete Contractor podcast not too long ago, not too long ago, probably about a month ago. We did not exist, zero existence. Now, what we've been able to do is to get this podcast, this podcast, Your Concrete Success podcast, to come up on Google. So if you Google Concrete Contractor podcast, you will find Your Concrete Success podcast come up on the first page of Google. And of course, we're talking about SEO. And today we're going to talk about how you can do the same for your concrete services. So hang on. So this is uh, the SEO is part of, of our concrete marketing plan, which helps you double your leads and, uh, and, uh, and be able to generate more profit from your jobs. So let's go ahead and tune into the next presentation. Why should you listen to me and who am I to start off with? Well, my name is Danny Barrera. I am the founder of Concrete Marketing Crew, also the author of the Digital Concrete Marketing Plan, 
and the host of Your Concrete Success podcast, also an associate member of the American Society of Concrete Contractors, and I am part of the board member of the Decorative Concrete Council as of 2021. I have spoken at the Concrete Decor Show, have been published at the Concrete Decor Magazine, as well as other trade publications. Uh, I actually teach what I'm showing and sharing with you guys to other marketing agency owners, to other SEO agencies out there because they want to find out, hey, how come you're having so much success with your market, with your niche? How is it that you're able to bring results to your clients? Well, actually, I train and I teach in different uh, digital, digital agency groups all across the country. So I'm very fortunate and blessed to be able to do that. And it is my goal, my mission, my vision to elevate the concrete industry as a whole. That's why I'm sharing all this information with you. So uh, just uh, buckle up and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So today's conversation is going to be very, very strategic. It's all about on-page or on-site SEO. And what is on-page SEO? Well, on-page SEO is also known as on-site SEO. It's the practice of optimizing a web page, okay? The practice of optimizing a web page content for search engines and the users, okay? So it's actually how is it that we are optimizing a web page and that web page could be a service page on your website. That web page could be your homepage. And that web page could be a, spe a specific service area page on your website so that the Google bots, the crawlers can go through your content and then they can rank you higher. And then the end user who's actually stumbling or coming across your website can actually make sense out of the content and the website itself and be able to feel comfortable and confident to give you their information or give you a phone call for an estimate request. So that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So uh, if you want to have a little bit more information and want to actually audit your website, we have this uh, checklist, which is called the Ultimate Internet Marketing Checklist for Decorative Concrete Contractors. And the very first, uh, actually the first two sections here in this checklist is optimization for your website conversions as well as search engine optimization rankings and different things that you should be paying attention to when you're optimizing your website website for SEO. So if you want to get a copy of this, just go to concretemarketingcrew.com forward slash free and you can go ahead and download a copy of this. So I'm gonna give you that copy as well as share a video that goes right along with this specific uh, checklist. So you can go ahead and go to concretemarketingcrew.com forward slash free. So let's talk about on-site optimization. And this, this is a topic that I am very passionate about because that's exactly what got me into digital marketing is, is I, w I had built out a couple of e-commerce stores. I was working at Fox News Channel and at that time uh, I was working as an IT analyst, as an IT analyst in the IT department. And I came across this gentleman who was doing um, e-commerce stores. He was actually wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Uh, he was not dressed up, was not wearing a tie or suit and a tie and was making millions of dollars. He was being interviewed at Fox News. And, uh, you know, I saw I saw that he was in the green room uh, and it was the green room B. I can clearly remember this. So I was in the 22nd floor, took the elevator down went to the green room. Since I was in IT, I actually had access to, to all these different green rooms, etc. cetera. So, uh, so got to meet the guy and I asked him, hey, I like what, what you're doing. Um, where's the first place to get started? Now that one question really changed uh, the, the trajectory of my career path because at that point I, I had no idea digital, about digital marketing, digital advertising. I knew that Fox News' uh, biggest generator of revenue was advertising, but it didn't click to me. Like, how, how does this whole thing really work, right? So uh, anyways, I asked him and he said, well, you got to find a product. Um, that you that people want to buy and then just sell it online and you know just get people to find that product online and I didn't understand exactly where to even begin but anyways I started making a research I, I spent a lot of money building out this e-commerce site and ended up making zero sales again zero sales spent a ton of money ton of money 
uh, pretty much took money uh, out of the savings and built that whole thing up. I thought I was going to become another millionaire overnight, and that did not happen. So anyways, I started figuring out, okay, wh what can I do? I started looking for, um, for, for ways to run traffic to my website. So I started spending money on Google Ads, and some of my products were $20 or $30, right? And then um, my profit margins on those products were $3, $4. And I can tell you right now, you can't do that when the, an actual cost per click is five bucks and it takes you eight clicks to generate one sale. So the math was not making sense in the in the pay-per-click uh, sector. So what I had to do, what I had to do at that point in time is start figuring out SEO. And I hired a couple of companies. Uh, one of them was a, a Chinese company that I found online. Another one, a, an Indian company. Uh, over the span of four months, uh, spent a couple of hundred bucks with them. I had zero results and um, and I noticed that some pages were ranking higher but I was not getting any sales and that led me to discover the world of search engine optimization so on page SEO is the one thing that I can tell you as an e-commerce site owner and right now I, I own a couple of businesses but digital marketing digital advertising uh, here I can tell you right now on page optimization is the key critical component that the majority of contractors fail at understanding. Uh, if you have a strong foundation, I mean, you're working concrete. You should know this. A strong foundation produces, okay, uh, long-lasting results. Strong foundation. Now, a poor foundation, whenever a storm comes by, right, there's that, that Bible verse uh, that a, a storm comes by and it's just going to tear that thing up. So on page... What we want to do is build a solid foundation so we tell Google who we are, what we do, where do we do it, what's our service area, etc. So where, where does it all start out in 2021? And the very first point I want to cover is the strong website with good content and user experience. User experience. So some, some of the, the guys that like to sound fancy nowadays, they use this uh, UX, which is the user experience, UXO, okay, user experience optimization. Uh, and how does that relate? Well, the user experience is, it, it takes multiple la layers, but the first thing is the content, okay? Uh, does the content answer that specific searcher and does it help solve a problem? There is one thing that Google calls, which is the last click. And the last click is basically when someone makes a search on Google, say they are looking for, let's let's use epoxy, garage floor epoxy in whatever city in Miami, garage floor epoxy in Miami, right? Someone makes that search and they come across the Google My Business listing and someone just scrolls by, they engage with that listing, they go back out and then they keep scrolling down. They eventually click on a website and that website is the last place that they visited. Now, a couple of things will happen is Google analyzes the dwell time of that visitor on that website, which is one thing. The second thing is, was that the last click? And now, does that user go back out and make another search related to epoxy? And if that's the case, will they present the exact same website that they just clicked on or will they show a different website? Well, all of this can be very well calculated nowadays with all these optimization tools. And what I can tell you right now is that if you provide good content, a clean website layout that's mobile responsive, that's fast, okay, that's got all the calls to actions and all the, the critical elements for, for, for response in real time, you can have your website rank higher than your competitors, okay? You can have, and back maybe two, three years ago, it used to be, two, three years ago, it used to be that we could just send a whole bunch of backlinks to a web page and we could outround competitors. Nowadays, the links are not mattering as much as the user experience and the content and the context of the content. Now, there's one tip that I want to share with you, which a lot of you guys are doing very well, and some of you guys are not even considering, which is leveraging multimedia to improve on page time. So let me give you an example. This is, um, let me see if I can pull this up right now. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Fuscaro Concrete. And uh, this is a website that we put together for, for these guys uh, right here. And, and you can see there's a lot of images, right? Uh, strong call to action. You can see that they, what they want is phone calls. That's all they want. 
They don't care about uh, anything else other than that. But you can see that there are some videos embedded here and there is this video right here. You can see all videos and some of these videos are showcasing some of the work, you know, um, that's being done in real time. This is one of the best strategies for flat work and decorative concrete contractors if you want to engage into a longer dwell time on the website. And people like videos nowadays. Now, if someone sees all these videos and all this equipment, you know, if you're, you're a flat work contractor, I mean, what are they going to say? This this is the, the, the company that we want to work with, right? So leveraging multimedia, just like I, I've shown you right now, and if you if you want to check out the website, go to FuscaroConcrete.com and you can check out the videos. You can check it out. Uh, and the videos were done by uh, by Gaetano Fuscaro, a uh, very good friend of ours. And, um, and I can tell you that right out of the gate, that increases dwell time on a website. Now, that is a process video. That is, they are pretty much creating five to 10 minute videos and those videos are engaging. Sometimes there's a, they're a little bit shorter, but they are showing the entire process. Now, if you want to educate your prospects into your process, there is a place for using those videos. Okay, if you go through our website, Concrete Marketing Crew, let me show you what, what do we put here. You can see there's a video here explaining what is it that we do. And it applies the very same thing. Let me go to the SEO page. In the SEO page, search engine optimization page, what, what do we have here? It's SEO worth for concrete constructors, right? So there's an embed, video embed here for, um, for, uh, for you to watch when you stumble through this specific page that increases the dwell time. And that's exactly what we're going after, is how do we improve the user experience and be able to answer the user intent? So another thing that you can do is put video testimonials throughout your website. Uh, that is for the individuals that are investing into video production. Uh, I strongly recommend it, and I can tell you the best videos working right now are the ones shot via an iPhone or via a regular smartphone. So don't get too fancy. Go ahead and just take a picture and take a video uh, via landscape mode of your clients and ask them, hey, could you share your experience in working with us? And then you upload that to your YouTube channel and get those embedded onto your website. And I can guarantee you, if you use that specific, you can say uh, the Smith family uh, new driveway in Parkland, Florida, right? So now I've stated the city I've stated the family name as well as, uh, as as the specific type of job, right? So you can put that as as a video embed on your website. It's got good SEO, and now um, it serves that multimedia purpose. Now, second thing is page. You must have a page for each one of your services. You must have a page for each one of your services. So whatever services you have, you must have one page. Doesn't matter. You can have 20 services. You can have 30 services. Uh, and, and when I say 20 or 30 services, I, I'm just exaggerating. But I can tell you right now, for example, concrete coatings, I can tell you, depending on, on how many products, uh, applications you're, you're, you're trained to, to do or to use, you can build one for each one of those. Now, check this out. For each one of your services could also mean industries. You see, you see where I'm going with this? If you're doing concrete coatings or concrete flooring and you specialize in polishing, uh, urethane, in polyaspark, you, you, you specialize in epoxy, you specialize in all these different uh, applications for commercial flooring, for example, you could do aviation hangars, you can do uh, medical uh, offices, vet, uh, vet offices, wh whatever the case is, right? You can have all of those uh, specific niche services and then rank them for your service area. So whenever someone goes out to Google and looks for someone that that does military uh, floors, you know, uh, for, for a military place or for a veterinarian or for a doctor, uh, or it could be for what, what else? Uh, shopping center, it could be for a supermarket. Uh, you can see how you start adding up all those pages, they will start to add up and you will end up with easily 30, 35, 50 pages. So we have some clients that over over six months, we've been able to build up 
over 50 pages. And, and in the beginning, when we launch a new website, what we do is we want to have the foundation in place and then start building every month. And I can tell you that is a beautiful progress. So you must have one page for each one of your services. It makes it easy to optimize that specific page. It used to be that you could rank uh, one page for multiple services. Now Google seems to be um, liking the fact that you can have one uh, specific page dedicated for one specific outcome. And that also helps out with the user experience, right? Because you're answering one specific question. You can elaborate on the content, what it entails, the specific process uh, for, for that specific service. And that's how it is. Also, let's talk about your service area. Your service areas or the cities that you service, uh, you need to have as many pages as you can have for each one of your service areas. And that's got to be very, like it, you have to architect the website in such a way that it's strategic. So if you are based out of South Florida per se, and in South Florida we have Broward County, Miami-Dade County, and say that you service both of those counties, you don't just want to say South Florida and list out all the cities there. No, you want to actually create a county page because those are separate counties and within the counties start prioritizing cities based on income levels or or based on um, the radius of the service area or based off your your cruise service area so that this way you can get smarter about servicing those specific clients right so as you start optimizing those pages you link them up to the appropriate uh, specific hubs or, or pages on your website and that's how you can rank for multiple locations one website for multiple locations we've done this for franchises we've done this for regional businesses we've done this for national businesses so there are different ways of using this strategy but the point is if you have a radius of 50 uh, mile radius what you want to do is you want to pick up your center focus which is your main city where your google my business is optimized and then map out the best cities that you want to service and then make an effort to target the right keywords for those specific cities and uh, and then the, the rest is history over time you can easily build a website that's over 100 pages uh, and I can tell you, for anyone that's been with us for about six months, you can they can expect to get up to 50 pages. Uh, a lot of our clients go over 50 pages in six months. But over 12 months, that website is growing every single month because we're adding city pages and we're, we're adding the service applications to different industries. And, and our clients love it because a lot of times... Uh, you're not going to have a thousand individuals looking for a commercial uh, flooring application. You might only have a couple, uh, maybe about 20 in a specific city, for, for example. But if you land that one specific job that's 200,000 square foot, uh, I mean, that you do the math there. One project can pay off for the entire uh, marketing campaign time and time and time again for years. So uh, that is... Uh, basically the first section here. Let's talk about the last section of on-site, on-page optimization. You need content on every page. So not only do you need to have all of those pages created, but you need unique content. And every every page, every single page, there's got to be a keyword in the title, keyword in the title of the page, and a keyword in the H1. Now, some people go very crazy where they name their business the exact keyword. Get Well, guess what's going to happen? If you are a decorative concrete contractor and you offer different uh, application. So say you do stamp concrete, but you also do concrete polishing, but you also do concrete coatings. Those are very three different services. Very three different services. Very different. Very, very three. Very different services. Those three are very different services. So how are you going to define your website? I'd rather build a brand that's associated with decorative concrete and then rank each one of the main core services with their own pages, right? So uh, you must have a meta description that entices people. And let me go ahead and uh, talk to you about meta description, how that looks here. Give me a second. And uh, I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to do marketing for decorative concrete. Okay. Okay. And uh, what you're going to find here, concrete marketing crew helps flat work and decorative concrete contractors can found on Google, blah, blah, blah. And that is our meta description right here. If we do SEO, for concrete contractors okay 
you're going to find us right here. If you're looking for an exceptional SEO company to help your concrete contractor business get more leads, look no farther. And then it goes right there. Now, I could improve this right here, and I'm reading this right out loud. This is my meta description. I can improve it by, by calling uh, out to action, request a free, uh, a free uh, SEO audit, right? And that could be my call to action, right? Obviously, this, this is intended for me as an agency, but for you, how does this apply to you? Well, if you do concrete polishing, let's go ahead and do concrete polishing, polishing, San Diego, right? And we're making that search. Let's go ahead and read some metas. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me find a good one. Okay, this one. If you're looking for a concrete polishing, then don't hesitate to give us a call. In concrete polishing, we are proud to serve San Diego area. Okay, so they got San Diego. You can see they have the keywords in here. Google even highlights those specific keyword searches coming in every month. So you want to have a call to action in there. Uh, and sometimes Google shows the phone number here. Sometimes they don't. So like you can see the, right there, Google cut off the phone number. So you want to be strategic in the plugin that you use or how you're using that SEO meta description and what 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 are you including in it so you want to include the specific keyword uh, or a variation of the keyword your service area or the main target city for that page and uh, a call to action that includes that so name address and phone number in the footer so if you are a local business make sure on the footer of the website you include the name address and the phone number and also I would recommend embedding the Google map in there not everyone does that you don't need to embed it it's not a requirement you can sometimes just embed it on the specific pages that you want to rank for that specific area. So the footer, uh, it's debatable in the SEO world, but we do it for for our clients. And I can tell you, does it make as much of a difference? I, I've tested this out. Um, I, I would say it's um, it's a hit or miss uh, on the the specific impact, but it's good to have site wide because we we like to tell Google, hey, this is our client, this is where they are established, right? They have the Google Map embed in every single page because it's always in the footer. Uh, what about this one? Uh, this is a good one: a blog with ongoing updates and syndication. Now. A blog, how come we're considering the blog as part of the on-site optimization? Well, we're considering this because there's an ongoing update. We're letting Google know every single month as we're publishing more content, we are letting Google know, hey guys, we have new content. Come come over to our website and recrawl our website and see if we have something new that's more relevant than our competitors. So the moment that you start creating content that's also optimized and relevant and you start linking those blog posts over to specific service pages or service area pages, Google is going to start give you more credibility for that specific keyword. So again, we have an entire plan that's about content building and the right content structure that uh, helps you not only get consistent content, but it's friendly towards the search engines and also gets syndicated all across the web in a very unique way that no other competitor is doing. So uh, last but not least on on-site optimization is focus on page speed at the desktop and mobile. Mobile is pretty much over 60% of all traffic that's happening online, over 60%, sometimes depending on your uh, area of service. If it's a if it's a more metro area, it tends to be even higher, over 70% in some instances. But over 60% all across the board of traffic coming to a website is now coming from a mobile device. For commercial clients, we see the other the other side, which is for the majority of commercial clients, uh, you will get more clicks from more the best type of clicks that convert into leads from a desktop device. And you think about this project managers, engineers, architects, they are going to be sitting in front of a laptop or a computer and making that research. Where, where as a homeowner, they might be on the couch, they might be on their tablet, or they might be on their phone, and they're just looking for you know ideas and contractors, and they're using their mobile device right there, and boom, they find something that they like, they like your website, they like your work, well, there you go. One more strategy that I don't see here in our bullet points, 
is having galleries on your website, having galleries that serves more as a conversion factor. But the moment that you have galleries and that you optimize your work, I can tell you the more and the better that you have your galleries. Let me go ahead and show you really quick so you can see uh, what that looks like in real time. So there's a couple of galleries. So say that uh, you're just getting started with your website and you're, you wanna showcase your residential concrete patios, Boom, you go ahead and showcase all the, you know, all the specific concrete floors that you've done, for example, right? Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, stamp concrete, right? Now you have all of this uh, specific decorative concrete applications here. Uh, and, it, you know, all, you showcase all the work that you have. Now, if you do SEO the right way, you're going to name your images according to the type of project. Like you're going to give it a very detailed description. What type of stamp concrete is it that I'm looking at, right? So all those little details that, that you're seeing here in real time, and excuse me, my internet is going a little bit slow right now. But you can see, you can rename each and every one of these pictures according to the project and then if you add the specific city uh, that you actually place this specific project on, uh, it's going to help your website build that relevance. So this is a, a hack that's on page. I would consider it to be part of the on page experience. Uh, I can tell you it also helps with conversion. So again, this is Danny Barrera. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've gone about 30 minutes here and now it's your turn. It's your turn to go ahead and make it happen. The next step is if you like this information, you found this helpful. Number one, we would appreciate a heart. We would appreciate a high, a, a high five, which is a like. Uh, and let us know how we're doing. Give us a, a review. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcast, give us a review on this on this show and uh, we'd appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm giving you the best of the best. Like seriously, you take all of these strategies and you implement them, you will have success. And if you're not having success with your strategies to get your website online, if perhaps you're not satisfied with your marketing agency, with your SEO person, uh, go ahead and reach out to ConcreteMarketingCrew.com right now. And uh, when you go to Concrete Marketing crew let me go ahead and walk you through it there's going to be a button to schedule a call when you schedule a call there's going to be a video in here and you're going to learn that uh, we have a, a way of doing business which is zero hype we don't like to hype things up we like to be straightforward and all you have to do is select a time and a date and then answer a couple of questions for me and that's going to let us know who you are and what your interests are right at this point and let us know and we we'll look forward in having a conversation with you again go to concretemarketingcrew.com this has been danny barrera your concrete success podcast have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you in the next one